They go by the name Free Daps, a group of young men who have become pretty well known, not just in our area, but around the country too. It was comedy, but done through improvised songs, something known as freestyle rap, but it's not your typical rap song. News 6 at 9's Carolina Cardona tells us more about these local guys and how freestyle rap is making them go global through social media. I'm Sam. I'm Johnny Hugo. I'm Isaac Knox. I'm Jordan Keyes. I'm Heath McNeese. And we are Free, Free Daps. Yeah, oh, come on. They don't sing typical rap songs. Free Daps is about freestyle rap. So you, the audience, are part of our show. It's, it's hip hop, it's, it's comedy, it's improv. It's all of our favorite things all blended into one. A blended group all from different backgrounds, but with an undeniable chemistry. <laughs> <laughs> How do you come up with the lyrics? Uh, we, we, we don't. <laughs> we just do it in the moment. Like, I think a lot of people will ask us, how do you, how do you learn to freestyle? It's just, um, it's just a muscle that we've worked on for a long, long time. You have to train yourself. What we do has taken us years and years and years to develop, a, a decade at least for each of us of working, learning how to freestyle, and then learning how, learning how to rhyme on the spot. His name is Russell, and Russell tried to join the football team and had to hustle. They've made a name for themselves through videos on YouTube and Facebook. Recently, one of those songs and viral videos was about talk show host John Oliver. We're hoping he's seen it. John, yeah. John, if you're watching News 6 today, please let us know that you've seen it. Yeah. Do you see yourselves as local celebrities? <laughs> no, <laughs> no, not at all. No, except for, except for when I go into Publix and they know what I want at the deli, that's the only thing. Yeah, that's that's it, true. That's, we're, we're still working on getting people to understand what freestyle is, yeah. which is making up music off the top of our head, extemporaneously, spontaneously, like off the cuff. They use their unique sense of humor to joke about current events and to talk about sports. Are you submitting for the Academy Awards for your role in Uncle Drew? Yeah. It's a lot of like, yeah, it's a lot of dad jokes and puns, but truly it's a lot of wordplay, like hip hop and poetry and rhyming and those sorts of things. A talent that's taken them to perform regularly in Disney Springs and cities around the country. A journey that started as a side gig. There was no reason to expect no. this was going to become an actual job. We feel like we can be one of just a small handful of trailblazers in this art form. An art form that News 6 served as a little bit of inspiration for. Uh, uh, uh. They talking to me, interview by a beauty, yeah, we got the news, it's old school like the newsies. I wish it was less yelling and more discussion, we need more news six with cameramen like Justin. Aw, uh, yeah, you know that he's the dopest. He's the cameraman, so I know, hope he's keeping my face in focus. Yeah, so you know that I'ma take the stairs to heaven every time I work with Carolina and Tara Evans. Oh, that's it, that's it. Yeah. That's it. That's it. Carolina Cardona, News 6 at 9. Free. Didn't cost a thing. Wow. You're good. I love that. Tara Evans got a shout out. Yes, she did. She's our executive producer. Stare to heaven right there. Pretty good stuff. Well, you can see them in upcoming shows May 30th and June 6th, both shows at 930 at the SAC Comedy Lab in downtown Orlando. Also performing at college events and private events. They even have a show Easter Sunday at the playoff game with the Magic. I like thing. it. You know, Wayne Brady started at uh -huh. the SAC Comedy right. Lab, and now he's, you know, freestyling on News 6 every day. And he's your best friend. You've met him. Such good friends. Yeah. It's, you know, You've he's traveled coming over for Easter. There, yeah. yeah.